name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to pray for our beloved nation, Nigeria. We're going to pray for our nation, Nigeria. Please, can I have the national anthem, verse 2, the second stanza? Praise the Lord. As we're waiting for the media, Nigeria needs mercy. Nigeria needs mercy. So we're going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, please arise and have mercy on Nigeria. Arise and have mercy on Nigeria. You are the God of mercy and you are the God of compassion. Father, we call on to you, Lord. Our nation needs your mercy. Please, Father, arise, O oh Lord. Arise and have mercy upon us as a people. In the name of Jesus. Father, please be merciful unto us, O oh God. Be merciful unto us, Father. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please, can we have the national anthem, the second stanza? Praise the Lord. I don't want to see my face. Please, let's have it full screen. Thank you. While we wait, we're going to pray for our leaders. We all know what is going on. Some have been elected and some have been appointed. And we know that they need the spirit of discernment. Because if we don't pray for them, they will do what it is they want to do. Only God can touch the hearts of these people. So we're going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, please visit all those who are in position of authority. Either they are elected or they are appointed. Father, visit them, O oh Lord, with your spirit. Let your spirit of discernment rest upon them mightily. That they will begin to do that which is right and acceptable, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father in heaven will pray. That you please visit them, O oh Lord. Father, wherever it is that they may be. Let your will swallow up their will. Let your plans swallow up their plans. That they will begin to do that which is right and acceptable in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Some of us are quick to talk a lot of rubbish. Ah, Nigeria is bad. This Nigeria no go good. It no go better for this Nigeria. If you say that, that is what you will get. So you need to be careful what it is that you say with your mouth. So you're going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, concerning this nation, Nigeria, guard my lips, oh God. Let me speak that which is right. Let me speak that which is true. Let me speak that which I want for myself in this nation. In the name of Jesus, please, Father, help me, O oh God. Help me to keep my tongue in check. Help me to speak that which is right, O oh God, concerning this nation. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Psalm 34, verse 5. Psalm 34, verse 5. Psalm 34, verse 5. Amen. So we're going to call unto God. He said they looked unto him and they were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. Amen. So we're going to say, Father... As we continue to look unto you in this nation, as I mention your name, as I, Lily and Ajayi, continue to look unto you in this nation, Lord, as I continue to look up unto you concerning this nation, Father, in the name of Jesus, please beautify my life with your glory. Father, enlighten my face, O oh God. Let my life be glowing, O oh Lord, with your glory. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we just want to say thank you. To you alone be all the glory, honor, adoration, and praise. Father, we thank you because we know that you would exceed our expectation concerning the convention. And Lord God Almighty, even our nation, Nigeria, Father, Lord God Almighty, it doesn't matter what is going on now. Because we are your children, when people are saying there is a casting down, we, your children, will declare that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be testimonies in, during this convention. For every one of us here and the families represent, Father, exceed our expectations. And concerning our nation, Father, exceed our expectations also. Thank you, our Father and our God. Glory be to your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you know that God is going to exceed your expectations, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give a clap offering to Jesus. Clap offering to Jesus. Hallelujah. For the Lord is good. 
and his mercies endure forever. For the Lord is good. We are going to give our offerings and our tithes unto the Lord. Let's put our offering together. Can I have 1 Corinthians 16 verse 2? 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 2. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 2. Upon the first day of the week, this is the first day of this week, let every one of you live by him in store, that is put together, as God has prospered you. So put your offering together, as God has blessed you, as God has prospered you. So let's put a worthy offering together for our God. Hallelujah. Let's put our offerings together and also package your tithes. If you have your tithes, bring it forward and come and drop your tithes in the basket in front of me. The ushers will go around to collect it. But for your offering and your tithes, I want you to lift them up to the Lord. Can we rise up? Can we rise up and lift up our tithes and our offerings unto the Lord? And speak to your offering. Speak to your offering. Ask the Lord to bless your tithe and your offering. Speak to it. Ask the Lord to bless your tithe and your offering. Ask the Lord to make his grace to come unto you in abundance. According to his word. Ask the Lord to bless your tithe, bless your offering. Open unto you the windows of heaven. And release his blessing upon your tithe and your offering. And pray that you will never lack in any good thing. The Bible says in Psalm 34 verse 10, 34 verse 10, that the lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord, they that trust in the Lord, shall never lack in any good thing. So pray that you will never lack in any good thing in Jesus' name. Pray. Speak to your offering. Use it as a part of contact to the throne room of grace. And say in the name of Jesus, throughout this month and beyond, I will not lack in any good thing in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So dance and rejoice as you give your offering. Dance, celebrate, rejoice, be glad as you give your offering. And the Lord will bless you as you do so. Over to you, choir. Hallelujah. Supernatural Papa, the Pendable, the Heaven Most High. Now you the original God. Supernatural, natural Papa, the Pendable, the Heaven Most High. Now you be the original God. Hey, supernatural, natural Papa, the Pendable. Lord, I bring you the sacrifice of praise. Let all the shame I took in your back. There is nothing to have for you to do. Let all the shame I took. Oh, supernatural, 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 and the God that over must die. Lift your voice and sing supernatural. Oh, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, oh, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. What a mighty God we serve Oh, what a mighty God we serve 
heaven on the top of you Angels bow before you What a mighty God we serve We serve a living God What a mighty God I said Hallelujah What a mighty God I said hey, Hallelujah Hey, one more time, what the mighty God What a mighty God, angel Hallelujah What a mighty God, angel Hallelujah Heaven and the Lord Angels have it for What a mighty God, we say Let us pray Father, we lift our offerings and our tithe unto your throne of grace Father, accept all our offerings, accept our tithes, bless them, sanctify them, and let them be used for your glory and honor. In Jesus' name. Lord, as we have declared before you, Lord, I pray that we will never lack in any good thing. I pray you will bless the work of our hands. You will make your face to shine upon us with pleasure. Your favor will envelop us. Throughout this week, your favor will speak for us. Lord, you will make our ways prosperous in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Please take your seat as we listen. I welcome you to the first Sunday in the month of August, and I declare the month shall be a glorious one for you, in Jesus' name. You will not labor in vain in this month. The Lord will reward you bountifully for the labor of your service. Hallelujah. I'd like to welcome warmly all those who are joining us for the first time. If you are worshiping with us, for the first time in this sanctuary, I'd like to recognize you. Will you please raise up your hand and wave? Anyone joining us for the first time? Yes, my sister, you're welcome. Can you rise up? Anybody else? Welcome to the family. All those joining us for the first time. Where the water of God made us see. This is temple. This is temple. There's no church without you. join them to welcome you once again. We are a solution, word, worship, and family fellowship center, preparing every family for heaven. We also recognize and acknowledge all those who are joining us online. The Lord will give you a timely word and bless you and make his face to shine upon you in Jesus' name. So for those of us who are here physically, please, I would like you to wait immediately after the service on the blue chairs in front of me. Our administrator will come and meet with you and pray with you, and the Lord will bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Um, let's listen to our weekly services. Technical, could you please play the video on our weekly services? Welcome to RCCG, the Temple of God Parish, we are a solution, word, worship, and family fellowship center, preparing every family member for heaven. Our Sunday service starts with workers' fellowship from 7.30 a.m. to 8.15 a.m., immediately followed by our Sunday school, which takes place at 8.15 a.m. to 9 a.m., and our family service starts from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., we also have virtual service for existing and aspiring professionals, 11 a.m. via Zoom. Every Tuesday, we have our Bible study online at 6 p.m. on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. 
Prayer meetings take place every Thursday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. via Zoom. This is to inform all members that if you are confused about anything or there is something troubling you and you need someone to talk to and pray with you, our counselor is always available at the end of the service in the first room extreme left of the junior church section. Thank you for worshipping with us today. Please follow us on all our socials at RCCG Temple of God Parish. Stay blessed. Thank you very much, Technical Department. August Temple Digest. August Temple Digest. The August edition of our Temple Digest is available online and on our website. So please um, check our social media platforms for the current edition of the Temple Digest. Annual Convention of the RCCG. Praise the Lord. So the convention comes up from Monday, August 7th to Saturday, August 12th, 2023. The theme is Beyond Expectations, as you can see. The venue is the Redemption Camp. Our ministry will be Pastor Ia Adeboye, our General Vasia, and other anointed men of God. Let's endeavor to attend physically, and if you cannot, please let's join online as it's going to be of great benefit to every one of us. So let's put it in our diary. Beginning from tomorrow, we'll, the convention starts. There will be no services here during the week. Uh, on Tuesday, when we normally have our Bible study, and then on Thursday, when we have our prayer service. So there will be no online Bible study on Tuesday, and there will be no online prayer meeting on Thursday this week. But it will resume next week. Physical congregation vigil. Physical congregation vigil. We shall be having our physical congregation vigil service on Friday, August 18, 2023, at 11 p.m. If you want to clap, clap for Jesus. You know, after the COVID, we had the first one last month. So let's prepare to attend the one coming up this month. And the one we had last month was quite um, glorious. We had a lot of testimonies. So I encourage you to make it a date and attend the one coming up on Friday, August 18, 2023. You'll be richly blessed as you do so in Jesus' name. All our workers... And our ministers are encouraged to attend the vigil service. Good news. Good news. Our brother and sister Isaiah Alego were blessed uh, last week with a baby girl. So please, brother Isaiah is the head of the Department of the Holy Police. I believe some of us know him. So let's rejoice with them. Let's call Brother Isaiah online. His number is 070-388-52382. I think the technical can display it on the screen so people can see it. So please call him and, then, and bless them. And you can also give them monetary gift. It's a blessing if you do so. Hallelujah. Volunteers for serving in the camp during convention. Our area will be serving on Friday at 12 p.m. during the convention. This coming Friday, 12 p.m. And we need two female volunteers and two male volunteers. Two male and two female volunteers to help in serving food that day. So if you'd like to volunteer to serve, Please wait uh, after the service and see Pastor Tesh. I believe we all know Pastor Tesh. Praise the Lord. Is there anyone who doesn't know Pastor Tesh here? Pastor Tesh, our lovely administrator. So please wait and see her immediately after service. Bad days. We have some brethren that are celebrating their bad days. 
We have uh, Sister Itoro Hansen, Brother Usua Daniel Chimere Meze, Chimere Meze, and uh, Fauna Wangaya, Wangyaga, sorry, <laughs> Fauna Wangyaga. Are they all here? Anyone? Okay, I know Wangyaga is in Kenya. Yes. Okay, let's pray for them, even if they are not here. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up our brethren who are celebrating their bad days today. Father, I pray you will exceed their expectations. I pray you will visit them and you will satisfy their desires with good things. I pray you perfect all that concerns them. I pray long life shall be their portion. I pray none of them will die prematurely. Lord, I pray that they will understand the reason why you have called them. And I pray they will follow in the footsteps of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let it be well with them, spirit, soul, and body. Bless and prosper them, and be gracious unto them. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the service. name of my father, Ethan the author, the world's creator has called me, and the only name that I answer to. So I hear a friend of God, that's my name. Chosen, that's my name. Love, one created in a purpose, that's my name. God's messenger, that's my name. God's masterpiece, that's my name. Child of God, you must be looking for me. Great beloved, you must be calling for me. Bray a new dice my name. So that is the name that I respond to. Because the enemy has no power. Here, perfect love cast out all fear. And perfect love has made to me and you. <laughs> Ozana ye o e 
Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay, we have a slot. If you have a testimony you want to share to the glory of God, we have just a slot. If you have a testimony, please let us see your hand. Okay, I know many of us are testimonies ourselves. Okay, my brother, God bless you. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Come, uh, okay, please, can you have a mic, please? Please give him a microphone. Quickly. Praise the Lord. We shout hallelujah. hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you very much in Jesus' name. Uh, last week something happened. Before I dream a dream, uh, the Lord carried me something. God used me very well. And let me come and say that thing will not come to pass. In the same way, God poured his own power on me. And that's why I say, there's God. There's no other that thing we can serve. This is my testimony. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Let the Lord hear your hands. Put your hands together for the Lord. Clap better, clap more. God bless you. Father, we thank you for your son who has come out to testify. Your word says we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. We pray he will continue to overcome. He has not seen anything yet. He will have even greater testimonies. And for all of us saying amen, God will prove himself to you in glorious ways in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. There are some of our friends that are worshipping with us today that we want to recognize. Uh, coming all the way from thousands and thousands of kilometers is my brother, my friend, Lazarus. God bless you, sir. You will always find favor with the Lord in Jesus' name. God will remember you for good always in Jesus' name. Also, there is uh, one of my brothers, Beke Nubi, God bless you, sir. You are welcome. You are a goldfish. They say goldfish have no, no hiding place. Also, to my right is a brother I like to call Phil Driscoll. He was one of those that ministered last week, Sunday. One of the horns men is there to worship with us again today. Where is Katie? Huh? Oh, he said he went to the restroom. Okay, wherever you are, God will bless you there. God will grant you good rest in Jesus' name. Amen. Also, we have uh, the newest grandparents in the church. They are worshiping with us. 
The grandma has been away doing omugo, but now she's back with us. She's laughing already. <laughs> our friend, our sister, General Linda Osahon, you're welcome, man. I'm sure we remember Esosa, her daughter. She was blessed with a wonderful, wonderful baby, and our sister has been there looking after her daughter and her grandchild. You are welcome back, Ma. And Daddy, congratulations too, sir. God bless you in Jesus' name. We want to recognize all those who are having their birthdays in the month of August. If you were born in August, stand up, stand up. If you were born in August, stand up, stand up. So, no. Bless you. If you are born in August, stand up. If you are born in August, stand up. Stand up. God bless you. You can stand for your child too. I know some of us, our children are August. Let's sing for them. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you always. May the good Lord bless you. Let's pray for them. Father, we want to thank you for this, your sons and your daughters who were born in the month of August. Father, we know every month is special in different ways. It is the season of new beginning. Father, we pray you will begin a new thing in their lives, O oh God. Father, that you will take them higher and further in life in the name of Jesus. That even as they are celebrating the convention this season, Father, let them exceed the expectations they have in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, show up for them even at every point of their needs in the name of Jesus. Father, give them a special birthday present. Give them something they will never forget. Give them what no man can give them. Give them what only you can do for them. By this time next year, they will have many more reasons to rejoice. Father, we thank you. Father, we magnify your name. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may please have your seats. As we were told earlier, uh, the convention of the Redeemed Christian Church of God begins tomorrow at uh, the Redemption Camp. The theme is Beyond Expectations. So we can join online. We can join by tele. We can also go physically. Okay, Katie is back. That's the gentleman I was introducing before. God bless you. God will keep you. God will honor you. In Jesus' name. Amen. We also have a new theme for this month. Our new theme is called Royal Priesthood. Royal Priesthood. And we have a theme scripture for this month. It's found in 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. Shall we read together, please? 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. We'll be looking at it deeper and further in the course of the month. Uh, while technical are getting it ready, it says that you are a... Okay, let's read together, please. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And verse 10. Shall we have verse 10 also, please? Which in time past were not a people, 
but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. You will obtain mercy in Jesus' name. So this is a very, very loaded theme. It covers so many things. And as God gives us grace, we'll be looking at them much more. On Tuesday, we had our Holy Communion for August. If you were not here, please go and watch it again. Uh, you'll find it on our Facebook and uh, YouTube uh, channels. And then we began looking at uh, royal priesthood on Tuesday. But that was just a tip of the iceberg. On Sunday, we'll dive deeper into it. So join us on Sunday, uh, this coming Sunday. We will continue looking at uh, royal priesthood. Praise the name of the Lord. And then every Tuesday of the month, we'll be looking at different aspects of the same theme. On Tuesday, the 15th of August, it will be the turn of our youths. Uh, there will be three young people who will be discussing the perspective of youths, their own perspective of uh, the scripture. And then the following Tuesday, 22nd of August, it will be the turn of our children. It's our children that will conduct Bible study that day. Because the Bible says that out of the mouth of babes and suckling, God has ordained praise. And Paul, writing to Timothy, he said, from a child, you have known the Holy Scriptures. Our children, they know the Scriptures. And you'll see some of them on 22nd of uh, this month. They will take the Bible study. It will be in an interactive uh, session. And then, of course, uh, like we were told, we have our congregational vigil on Friday, the 18th of August. Uh, I pray God will give us new revelation that day also. And I know that everyone that comes will have a fresh encounter in Jesus' name. So we'll be having our Thanksgiving shortly. And then during the Thanksgiving, we'll be having our anointing. And uh, for the benefit of those who are worshiping with us for the first time, or those who are our guests, one of the mysteries of the kingdom. The Bible says the kingdom governs in mysteries. God does his things in mysterious ways. One of the mysteries of God is the oil. This is olive oil. We bought it from the market. But God uses oil as a medium of transferring power, of transferring grace. The Bible says that God is able to break yokes even by the anointing. And every month, the first Sunday of the month, for our members who want to, as we come forward to thank God for bringing us into a new month, a man of God, a servant of God will put oil on your head, or if you want, will put it on your hand. So you anoint yourself. And we will pray together now over the oil. And God himself that brought you into the new month, he will keep you in the name of Jesus. Please shall we rise even to pray over the oil. Father, we want to thank you once again even for bringing us into the eighth month. Father, we thank you because this is the season of a new beginning. Father, Lord God Almighty, we lift up these two bottles of oil into your hands. Father, breathe over the bottles in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you taught Moses the concept of anointing oil. You said when he pours it on anything, that thing will be sanctified, it will be made holy. Father, we pray your children will be sanctified even by this anointing in the name of Jesus. Father, Anoint them for a new beginning. Anoint them for protection. Paul said, because I bear the mark of Christ, let no one trouble me. Because they will bear this mark over their heads, over their hands. Father, no one and nothing will trouble them this month in the name of Jesus. Sickness, disease, epidemic, accident, death will not trouble you in the name of Jesus Christ. 
as you have come to present yourself in Zion, you will go from strength to strength. You will go from glory to greater glory. The anointing shall speak favor over you in Jesus' name. It will speak mercy over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere you go, it will be a mark on you, attracting help for you in the name of Jesus Christ. As you are anointed today, you will not be stranded in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be stranded in the name of Jesus. Help will come for you from on high in Jesus' name. God will grant you favor from above and favor from around in the name of Jesus. Strangers will come to help you. Kings will come to your rising. You will return rejoicing. Because we have marked this August Thanksgiving together. As the Lord lives, you will be alive and well to mark that of September also. You will fulfill the length of your days. You shall live, you shall not die. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Now to lead us in the Thanksgiving session, we have a very wonderful young lady that God has prepared. She has traveled all the way from Ibadan with her dad. The dad, let me start with the dad. The dad is uh, the minister also. His name is Balogun. And then the daughter, the precious jewel that the dad is so proud of, that we two are so proud of. Her name is Ori of Air. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord, even as we invite God bless you. Wonderful. So she will be leading us, the choir will join, and ushers will direct us so that we'll also come to present ourselves before the Lord. If you have a Thanksgiving offering, there is a basket there. If you don't have, offer your thanks to God. Dance before him. Let him know that you are grateful to be alive. Over to you, Oreo.
Joy. How many of you know happy feet? You know happy feet. And you can dance it very well. You can dance happy feet very well. things very quickly. Sure. Number one, we'll pray for her. Number two, we'll pray for ourselves. And then let me mention something to us. You may not know, but you see, in the Christian music industry these days, those that minister, many of them, all they want is money, 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 money. I hope you know that. This young lady and her father, they didn't ask us for money. They came because they want to glorify God. So if you want to bless her ministry, 
uh, our account is showing there on the screen. You can send. We are not charging you anything. You are. You will give if you want to, and God will bless you if you do. In Jesus' name. Where is uh, Ori of her? Oh yeah, come, 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 come. Let's pray for you. Oh yeah, Daddy, please come with your daughter. So let's stretch forth our hands and pray for Ori of Balogun and her dad. Father, we want to thank you. Father, we want to bless you. These days, different people are doing different things as they please. But Father, we thank you that they have chosen to glorify you. They have chosen to honor you. They have chosen to put your glory before material considerations. And you said that if we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, that all other things shall be added. Father, add to them fame, O Lord. Add good health to them. They travel to many places to minister. Add protection to them. Father, you are the one that honors. Father, honor them, O Lord. You are the one that broadcasts. Father, broadcast them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God, as more and more people know this young lady and her dad, we pray you will help them to remain humble. You will help them to continue to put you first. Money will not take over their lives. They will not serve mammon. They will continue to serve the living God. And Father, they have helped us to praise you. They have helped us to magnify you. Father, Lord God, we pray this will not be their last ministrations. They will minister in different nations. They will minister before kings. And your name will continue to be glorified in their lives. She's still a little girl. She's still in school. Father, give her grace to excel. She will excel in school. She will excel at home. She will excel in life. And most importantly, she will continue to shine brighter and brighter in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. You will end well. When it is time, you will have your own home. And God will bring through you other glorious children for the next generation in Jesus' name. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. And Daddy, God bless you, sir. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Let's also stretch forth our hands towards the offering. Father, we thank you for the month of August. We thank you for giving us the wonderful privilege to give even in appreciation. We know we can never buy mercy. We can never buy your favor. We can never buy your help. They are not for sale. You are giving us all things freely to enjoy. But out of the gratitude in our hearts, we have brought these offerings. Father, please accept our offerings. You said the man's offerings will make way for him. Father, we pray the gift we have brought, let it make way for us. Father, next time we will be in a position to bring even greater gifts. We will have more reasons to rejoice. We will have greater reasons to thank you. Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we magnify your name, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. We are running behind time. We are quickly joining the GO now. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Technical, please connect us. Most High God. 
and bless his holy name. Give God all the glory. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Bless his holy name. Will you get me one of the mics? Can I use your own? Let's praise him. Praise God. Give him glory. Give him adoration. Bless the name of the Lord. Worship him. Let's thank him. Because we are about to enter the new year of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Let's go ahead. Let's give him glory. Thank him for all he has done for us in the past one year. Bless the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Ancient of Days. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him honor. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. This morning, we want to pray for almost everybody. Businessmen, businesswomen, transporters, self-employed people, housewives, artisans, their families, footballers, pastors. I'm the one adding that one to make sure. <laughs> Glory be to God. I want you to lift your voice to the Almighty God and say, Father, send help to all of us. Open your mouth and cry to the Almighty God. Just send help to all of us. Every one of us, Lord God Almighty, send help to us this morning. We are looking unto you this morning. We are looking unto you for help. Send help to all of us. Send help to me. Send help to my family. Send help to my friends, my relations. Send help to all of us, oh Lord. Send help to us. Oh, Lord God Almighty, send help to us. Every one of us. Help to us, Lord. Young and old. Male and female. All of us, Father. Send help to us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My Father, my God, we want to worship you. Ancient of days, we bow before you. You are the Alpha and the Omega. We are extremely grateful to you for what you have done in the redeemed Christian Church of God in the past one year. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for supplies. Thank you for protection. Thank you for promotion. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Today, my Father and my God, I'm committing every one of us into your hands. Businessmen, businesswomen, transporters, self-employed people, artisans, housewives, husbands, young boys, young girls, footballers, every one of us, Lord, send help to us. from unexpected sources. Father, send help to us. From the east, send help to us. From the west, send help to us. From the north, send help to us. From the south, send help to us. In this month of August, my Father and my God, the kind of breakthroughs we have never had before, my Father and my God, make available to us. You have been with us in January. You have helped us in February. You have protected us in March. We saw your face in April. In May, you were kind to us. 
in June, you were generous to us. In, April, uh, in July, you did marvelous things. Now we are in August. Please, Lord God Almighty, give us a new beginning. And your children who have been faithful in the payment of their tithes and the giving of their offerings, Father, this month, embarrass them with your blessings. Bless them so much that they will say, this is too much. And Lord God Almighty, during your convention, beginning tomorrow, my Father, my God, miracles beyond our expectations perform in all our lives. At the end of it all, take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Well, let someone shout hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> I'm not sure they can even hear that in Oyibo. Let someone shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Well, that's not bad, but uh, there is someone here who will never weep again. If you are that one, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Uh -oh. Well, I shake hands with one or two people and say, God will bless you mightily today. And then you may please be seated. Our convention begins tomorrow, as you know. And the theme is Beyond Expectations. That means it doesn't matter how high your expectations might be during this convention, God will surpass them all. I don't need to appeal to you to come. One thing I can assure you of is this. If you don't come, you will regret it. You say, who said so? My daddy told me that. It's one convention, the kind we have never seen before. To believe that I am truly a man of God, then take my word for it. If you don't believe, if you think, don't mind them. It's always just saying uh, there is someone here. We are not even sure whether he's speaking the truth or not. Don't come. You understand? If you don't believe that it is God who sent me, don't come. If you believe that, uh, oh, you know he's a mathematician and he's just using mathematical theories to manipulate us. If you think it is mathematics that took the redeemed Christian Church of God from 40 parishes in 1981, to a church now in more than 190 nations of the world. If you think that is mathematics, don't come. But if you believe that there is a God in heaven, the one who can do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think, if you believe is the one who chose of all, themes beyond expectation as the theme for this convention 
whatever is going to cost you, make sure you are there. Because just like he said, this is a convention that will never be forgotten. Oh, I can watch it on dog. That is true. <laughs> He's the one who gave us Dove Media. May the name of the Almighty God be blessed. <laughs> Technology had advanced. You can phone your children in America and you'll be looking at them and they'll be looking at you. Technology has done that. But on one occasion, I was uh, phoning my grandchildren. And I was sitting on the diam. I said, sorry, we haven't reached the technology yet where I can send Pandediam across. I may tell you the truth. There are certain miracles that cannot go by television. When God said there is someone here, and by here he's talking about redemption ground, and you say, I sit in my room and I claim it. Half a word is enough for the wise. And this morning we are <laughs> to talk about looking unto Jesus. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Hebrews 12, verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Let me just stop there because of time. Psalm 34, verse 5. Psalm 34, verse 5 says, They looked unto him and were lightened. And their faces were not ashamed. I decree in the name of the one who is called Jehovah El Shaddai. As many of you as we look on to Jesus today, you will never be ashamed again. Psalm 121 from verse 1 to 2. Psalm 121 from verse 1 to 2. David said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Looking unto Jesus, who are we being asked to look unto? We are being asked to look unto the healer. Exodus 15 verse 26. Exodus 15 verse 26, it says, I am the Lord that he let thee. We are to look unto the one who never refers a case. The one concerning whom it is written in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, 1 Peter 2, 24, by his stripes ye were healed. Who are we asked to look unto? We are asked to look unto the one who is called the provider. Philippians chapter 4 verse 9, Philippians 4 9 says, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. We have to look unto the one who said, Silver is mine, gold is mine. Haggai chapter 2 verse 8. Who are we asked to look unto? We are asked to look unto the one who is called the great deliverer. The one who said in John chapter 14, verse 6, John 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And it is written in John chapter 8, verse 32. John 8, 
32 and 36, he said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. He says, whosoever the Son shall set free, shall be free indeed. Look unto the Deliverer. We have to look unto the Promoter. The one who said in John chapter 12, verse 32, John 12, verse 32, he said, And I, if I am lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. Upward. Because promotion does not come from man. Not from the east, not from the west, not from the south, according to Psalm 75. Verses 6 and 7. God is the judge. He is the promoter. When God promotes you, you are promoted. I was listening to the news and I heard of someone who had been nominated for a ministerial appointment. And she got to the Senate where she was to be screened, only to be told, your name has been withdrawn. That's not my God. When my God promotes you, you are promoted. When he promotes you, you don't need any screening. <laughs> I decree right now to all of you who will look unto Jesus, you just keep going higher. We have to look unto the one who is called the hope of the hopeless. Colossians 1 verse 27. Colossians 1 27 says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. We have to look unto him who is the source of joy. The one who says all you need to do is just ask. John 16 verse 24. Ask till your joy be full. We have to look unto him, of course, who is called the Savior, because that's his name. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Matthew 1, 21 says, He shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Briefly then, let me just take about three or four specific instances to show you what happens when people look on to him. In Mark chapter 5, from verse 25 to 34, Mark 5, 25 to 34, a woman looked unto him when doctors had failed. He had moved from one doctor to the other, to the other, until they drained every penny or naira or cobble that she had. Instead of getting better, she grew worse. And she took her eyes off doctors and looked unto Jesus and got instant healing. In 1983, a young man had cancer of the jawbone. son of a very wealthy man, her father, I mean his father was an ambassador of Nigeria. And all the doctors in London, the best hospital in London, told the father, who want your son to see his native land again, take him now, because he has less than two weeks to leave. And someone told the father, there is a God in a place called Redemption Camp. Take your son there. They brought the boy. When I looked at him, 
his head was swollen like a big uh, what do you call this container you buy petrol into the head was so enlarged the throat so contracted that it took him one hour to drink a bottle of coke he was hungry nothing can go down the throat and the, the coke he was sipping we had to take just a little bit at a time when i saw him even my faith shook but we looked unto jesus we looked unto the one who has never referred a case he's alive today When he went back to the same doctor, they said, you are not the one we saw. He said, I am the one. They told him, okay, congratulations. We don't know what happened. But because of the chemotherapy, this therapy, that therapy, you, you will never be able to produce a child because your body is already destroyed by all kinds of chemicals. So fine. Came and told me, I said, I know my father. He doesn't do job by half. When he heals, he heals. So they is married and has children. Why they say he won't? Why am I telling you this? There might be someone listening to me wherever you might be. And the doctors have said there's no hope for you. Look unto Jesus. The same doctors will hear your testimony. Yeah. When it looks as if the enemy have captured you, and there's no way of escape, look unto Jesus. Acts chapter 16, from verse 23 to 34. Acts 16, 23 to 34. And it tells us of the case of uh, Paul and Silas. They were thrown into prison because they were going to be executed the following day. And they told the jailer, this prisoner must not escape. Special prisoners. And the jailer said, no problem. Bound them tight. Locked the doors of the prison. And the Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas began to pray and to sing praises unto God. They didn't look at their shackles. They looked unto Jesus. And my father came, sent an earthquake shook the prison doors, flung them open. The yokes were destroyed. And you know the rest of the story. <laughs> Even the jailer came, fell at his feet. He said, I must know something about this, your God. The jailer got saved. The following morning, those who threw them to prison said, we've changed our mind. Let them go. I thank God for people like Paul. He said, you threw me to prison, eh? My God freed me, yes? You want me to go now? Eh? Come and beg me. <laughs> oh, Lord. Every one of you that the enemy think they have captured, they will come and beg you. In one of these countries where the Redeemed Peace and Church of God is, they arrested one of my pastors. He was just in the street when they just grabbed him and uh, threw him into a dungeon. We couldn't locate him. We just knew he disappeared. And it's the wife who said, I can't see my husband. We don't know what has happened. 
But God knows where he was. So we looked unto Jesus. You are the one who said we should go to all the world to go and preach the gospel. That's why we sent your son here. You have to intervene. And then all of a sudden, my son says, yeah, he said, ah, wait a minute, Lord. Today is March the 2nd. Today is the birthday of your son. Give me a birthday present. And after months, those who threw him to prayer, and he said, what is it I've done? Tell me. No one was talking. And they came and they said, you are free. You can go. Well, today's not my birthday. But every day belongs to the Lord. And in this special day, I decree, every one of you, in any form of bondage, be free in Jesus' name. When it looks as if your case is already too late, and there's nothing anybody can do to help you at all. Too late. When your relatives themselves think that, no, 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 don't worry the pastor. Your case is beyond help. Look unto Jesus. Because in John chapter 11, from verse 39 to 44, John 11, 39 to 44, by the time they got to the burial ground of Lazarus, he's been dead and buried four days. The sister told the Lord Jesus Christ, <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, sir. It's not your fault that you came late. You, you know, you were busy doing your father's work. But if you had come earlier. But now, let's go home. Let's go and have some tea. By now it's already stinking. But there is a God who can reverse the irreversible. And that's the God I serve. He say, hey, just move aside. Let me show you who I am. You know the rest of the story. The time they moved the stones, my father spoke a word. Check what he said. He only said, Lazarus, come for. He didn't pray some prayer that you have to shake and jack. And <laughs> he just said, Lazarus, come here. Some Bible scholars said if he had not mentioned Lazarus by name, every dead person would have come out of the grave that day. Because the one who was speaking is <laughs> the resurrection and the life. Whether you believe it or not, he's still alive. And he's here today. And he's saying to those of you that the doctor said or relatives said or bankers said that your case is already beyond help, he's saying to you, look unto me. And I will give you a testimony that will shake the world. I'm sure you remember the story of a sister who... Uh, made a mistake while she was in secondary school, became pregnant, and since her parents wasn't here, so she decided to abort, took some drugs, and started bleeding. Uh, by the time they took her to the hospital, the doctors felt that there's only one way to save her life, and that's by taking out her womb. So she survived, and then um, went ahead and got married and of course you know the result of that kind of marriage she had no issue and then got born again and to one of uh, these uh, funny pastors like myself who believe that with God all things are possible and so she kept coming and the pastor kept on praying and one day the pastor said, wait a minute, woman, everybody I prayed for, they were already testifying. What well, was your own case? He said, ah, uh, my story is that uh, I have no womb. Ah, you have no womb. Uh, and you are asking me to pray for you to be pregnant. 
I bet to you are the one, the one who taught us. And with God, all things are possible. In the name that's above every other name, every impossibility in your life will become possible today. And the pastor said, <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> God have mercy on pastors. And from that day onward, any time the pastor saw the woman coming this way, the pastor would dodge that way. And one day the woman discovered that the pastor was dodging her. And she stopped looking onto the pastor. And turned her face to God. Said, God, I'm not trusting the pastor for my miracle now. I'm trusting you. And she had a dream that night found herself standing naked and saw a huge man coming into the room with the skin of an animal in his hand you know the story she was so frightened she couldn't move the man got to him and wrapped the skin around her body and she woke up and discovered she was menstruating by the last time I heard of her, she had five children. Everything that is considered impossible in your life shall be made possible today. When your business seems to be collapsing, when you've done everything you know, and instead of succeeding, you seem to be failing. And people are already looking at you and calling you a pharmaco. That's, and that's what they used to call them in the old days. Some of you young ones who know the meaning of a pharmaco. That's, that's what they say in Lagos here. A pharmaco is We can see the labor. But where is the fruit? Look unto Jesus. He will surprise everybody. Yeah. Because in Luke chapter 5, Luke 5, from verse 1 to 7, the Bible tells us, Peter fished all night. Peter was not a lazy man. Lazy men don't walk all night and caught nothing. There was nothing to show for it. Then Jesus stepped into the boat. One single throw. He threw just one net. The Lord asked him to throw all the nets. Probably if he threw all the nets, he would have finished all the fish in the river that day. Just one net. He caught enough to fill two boats. We had a congress. We used to call it Christ Zimmer's Congress in those days, in Akure. We finished the congress, prayed for everybody who can go home, and a man stopped me. I said, no, you can't go, sir. You have to pray for me. I said, we've prayed for everybody. He said, you need to hear my case. Okay. He was a successful businessman. He had a sawmill. But everything just went wrong. All the machines refused to work. And every attempt to repair them failed. And so he began to borrow money to feed. And he borrowed so much money that he got to say that when his friends saw him coming, they dodged. They, want, they were not asking him to pay the debt, but they don't want him to borrow more. So whenever they, <laughs> when, when your creditors begin to dodge you, you know you're in trouble. Things got so bad. Hunger at home. 
hunger for husband, hunger for wife, hunger for children. Things got so bad that the wife went mental. That's how bad things got. And because he had no money to take care of her in a hospital, he just took her to one herbalist and dumped her there. When she came to the Congress, just as I know some of, somebody is going to come to the convention to meet Jesus. He said, you are not going anywhere, sir, unless I said, fine. Stretch out your hands. He stretched out his hand. I lay my hands on his hand. And I prayed a simple prayer. She got home. Laid his hands on the machines. And every one of them jumped back to work. So, yeah, this thing is working. Ran to the Babalawu. Laid the hands on the wife. And the wife shook her head and said, ah, What am I doing here? The last time I heard about my friend, he has been made the upper of his town. He has cars now, not just one. You're having financial difficulties? Look unto the great provider. I decree in the name of the one who sent me before the end of this year, you won't even know what it is to be poor again. Look unto Jesus, the Savior. There's nobody, nobody too far gone for him to save. Paul the Apostle said in 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 15, 1 Peter, uh, 1 Timothy 1 verse 15, he himself said, I am so bad, I consider myself the chief of sinners. But then he had an encounter with Jesus. <laughs> The one whose blood cleanses from all sins. First John chapter 1, verse 7. The chief of sinners was cleansed by the blood of the Jesus we ask you to look unto. And immediately everything changed. The one who started as chief of sinners ended up as one of the chiefest apostles. When I was a lecturer at the University of Illinois, and I was looking over our little church in Illinois at that time, and Elijah attended the church one day. I don't know how it happened, but he came. And he heard me preach about salvation. He said, there's nobody that Jesus cannot save, no matter how bad. So I made the altar call, and he came forward and gave his life to Jesus, and he went home rejoicing. But after some days he came back, he said, I don't think this thing can be true. I said, what do you mean? And he said, I'm not the kind of person Jesus can forgive. I've done too many evils. And then he told me a series of terrible things he had done. He said, do, do you think Jesus can forgive somebody like me? I said, the, the blood of Jesus cleanses from all sins. You've surrendered your life to me. Your sins are gone. He went home rejoicing. A few days later, he came back. He said, I didn't tell you all. <laughs> And then he told me some more, and I assured him again. And then, then finally he came. He said, I will tell you one more thing I did. If you think Jesus can forgive somebody who did that, and then, and then he told me something that he did. And I'm telling you, 
even I was horrified. Uh -huh. so he said, I told you. So I said, but wait a minute. Let me read it to you. First John chapter 1 verse 7. The blood of Jesus Christ is sound cleanses from all sins. I said, I just want to ask you a question. What is the meaning of all? He looked at me and said, I think all means all. <laughs> I said, that's the, I said, that's settled. No more problem for me. There is a God who can save anybody. It doesn't matter how bad you are being. The blood of Jesus cleanses from all sins. If you are here and you are not yet saved, the altar is open. Come. Come and look unto Jesus. He has enough power to save anybody. And when he saves you, everything will become new. That's what the Bible says. If any man be in Christ is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, I'm going to count from one to five. You get to the altar before I say five. We will pray together and it will save your soul. I'm counting now. One. He will save you if you will come to him. It doesn't matter what you have done. He will give you a brand new beginning. Brand new beginning. You have cheated, you have lied, you have committed adultery, you have killed, you, you have eaten human flesh. It doesn't matter. Come. His blood cleanses from all sins. Three. Keep clapping, they are still on the way. The more you clap, the more you will prosper. Hurry up, hurry up. This is your day of salvation. Come for a brand new beginning. Come for a brand new beginning. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Four. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh yes, glory be to God. Those of you who are clapping, you will have something to clap about this month. You will clap for joy. Yeah, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. This is your day of salvation. Look unto Jesus. He will save your soul. He will wipe away your sins. He will give you a brand new beginning. He will meet all your needs. And he will promote you. I promise you, he's the promoter. He will set you free from every yoke of Satan. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, and keep clapping. They are still coming. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Hurry up. God bless you, my children. You are welcome. You are welcome. The Lord is waiting for you. Yes, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. This, this is your day. This is your day of salvation. This is a day of joy. Oh yes. He's the one who said, ask your joy before. Come to him. He will save your soul. Put an end to your sorrows. And your joy will begin. Keep coming. I will wait another 10 seconds. Keep coming. Keep coming. 
Glory be to God. Yeah, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. This is your day. This is your day. Come to the Savior. Come to the Savior. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. If you're on the way, just keep coming. Don't stop. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't be tired of clapping. This is the greatest thing that can happen. Salvation of souls. This is, this, this is the purpose of our gathering. Keep coming. Keep coming. I wait another five seconds. Five seconds more. Keep coming. Keep coming. Thank you, my father. Glory be to God. Yeah, keep coming. I can see you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Nobody is ever too young to look unto Jesus. Keep coming. Keep coming. This is your day. This is your day of salvation. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you for drawing these people to yourself. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, if you're on the way, just keep coming. I'm about to pray now, but make sure you get there before I stop praying. Amen. Amen. Now, those of us who are already in front, let's talk to the Almighty God with all our hearts. And say, Lord, have mercy on me. Save my soul. I surrender my life to you. Every sin I've ever committed, wipe it away today. Give me a brand new beginning. And I will serve you for the rest of my life. Talk to him. And the rest of all, let's stretch our hands towards these people and intercede for them. Pray that the one who saved your soul will save their own souls also. And those of you on the way, keep coming. Don't, don't, don't stop. You're not late yet. You're not late yet. Just come to him. He will save your soul today. You're not late at all. Yes. Keep coming. Keep coming. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Savior. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My Father, my God, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you, Savior. Thank you for these people who have come forward to surrender their life to you. Father, please receive them. Have mercy on them. Let your blood wipe away all their sins. Save their souls, Lord. Write their names in the book of life. Receive them into the family of God. From now, any time they call on you, Father, answer them by fire. Let everything become new for them. And let them serve you to the end. Thank you, my Father. Lord God Almighty, in a moment, I'm going to ask your children here to cry unto you. Everyone who will look unto you today for help, help them immediately. Father, I pray that this Sunday will be a landmark Sunday in the life of all of us. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Ah, those of you in front, let me hear you shout hallelujah. I want to promise you from now on I'll be praying for you. So I will be needing your names, your address, and your prayer requests. The counselors will collect the information and pass it on to me. I promise you I'll be praying for you. But I want you to stay here, join every, the rest of us in prayer, even before the counselors take over. The rest of us, how many of you believe that God will answer your prayers today? Uh, stand on your feet and shout a big hallelujah.
forget everybody now and look unto Jesus and say Jesus I come to you today don't let me ever know shame again go ahead talk to the almighty God I, I look up to you today you are the help of the helpless don't let me ever know shame again Let's continue to cry unto the Lord is the helper. He said, they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Father, you have heard the individual requests of your children. And as a church, we are also bringing to you our desire. Our lease is running down. We desire to have our own place, our own land that is our own. Father, Lord God, we will not know shame over this matter in the name of Jesus Christ. You said they that call upon the name of the Lord, you will deliver. Father, deliver unto us our own land. Father, Lord God Almighty, all those that you have prepared to be of help in this regard. Father, Lord God, help them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God, some of them are still trusting you for one thing or the other, so that they are able to do that which you have laid in their hearts. Father, you the helper of the helpless. Father, help them, O Lord. Father, give them the grace to be able to fulfill their heart's desires in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, you have brought us into the eighth month. We have come, we have sung, we have danced, we have praised you. We have prayed and we have also heard your word. Now it's time for us to go. Father, all you have poured upon us, let them be permanent over us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Our head that you have anointed, it will not run dry in the name of Jesus Christ. That oil, it says, he anointed my head with oil and my cup runneth over. Because God has anointed our heads with oil, our cups will run over with joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God, we have started the month with you. See us through this month in the name of Jesus Christ. Some will be traveling. Father, grant them journey mercies. Some children will be resuming school this month. Father, resume with them. They are going to a higher class. Father, give them higher grace, O Lord. Give them greater wisdom. The seven spirits of God will manifest in all of us in the name of Jesus. The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of the fear of the Lord... All those will manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that this month you shall live, you will not die in the name of Jesus Christ. All conspiracies, all plans against you, we cancel in the name of Jesus Christ. God's plans for your lives will come to pass. All the hopes you have, the hopes for good, they will become testimonies. They will materialize in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we magnify your name. We have prayed for our nation and we declare it shall be well with Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are leading us, Father, guide them yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that the Senate, they decided that we are not going to war with Niger. Father, we pray every critical matter in this nation. It is your own counsel that will be standing in the name of Jesus. We will not be dragged into the pit. We will not be dragged into war. We will not be dragged into calamity. 
Rather, your grace will lift us, O Lord. Your mercy will help us, O Lord. Your wisdom will direct our leaders. And it shall be well with our nation. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And the children of God will say, Amen. Amen. Please let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Just before we go, some of us came after the offering was given. If you still have your offering with you, please, you can come and drop it. And then just to remind us, kings and princes always tell about their kingdom. Let's be inviting people, our friends, our neighbors, and even those you know are going through challenges. Invite them to come to church. Invite them so that they too can taste and see that the Lord is good. God bless you all as you go in Jesus' name. And for God's children who are just bringing their offering, Father, please breathe over their offering. Father, bless their offerings. Father, bless them also. We pray as the Lord lives, they will receive favor and mercy from you. It shall be well with them, O Lord. We will hear good news from them. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise God.